Hello everyone, welcome to Lara Tips. In today's video, we'll be looking at four new things that are added to the Laravel version 9.13.0. So let's get started. The first thing that has been added is this new test response helper, which is assert JSON missing path. So let me take you to the test class. And I have added over here JSON missing. In API test, let me just take you to this API test over here and i am just returning this response id name platforms and twitter and youtube these are my platforms where i post now if i just go here and if i just to get json and i'm just doing assert okay and i'm doing assert json missing path and if you look here inside these platforms we don't have linkedin but i have done here dot linkedin if we write here dot then it will go into the nested array now if i just go and run this php unit test then you can see here it is showing me that the test is passing but if i just pass here youtube but we have this youtube over here and if i again run this test then it is failing and it says failed asserting that true is false the second thing that has been added is this assert count on the notification fake so let me again go to this test class and here I have created a user by using a factory and I am faking the notification and now I am just sending a request to this send notification and if I go over here then this is the route and I have sent the notification twice and here I have just asserted that the notification is sent twice before there was no this assert count method there was no way of testing two notifications were sent but if i write here three and then run this test then you can see here it is failing and it is saying me that failed asserting that two is identical to three but if i write here two and again run this test then it will pass the third thing that has been added is this value method on the collection method you might be aware that there is a value method on the eloquent builder but now the same value method is added to this collection so let me show you that as well here in the collection i have this data and if i want to get the id of the first data then i would do it like this and if i just run it then i'll get one which is this id but instead of that, we can just do here C value and it will get the first matching item. It is not doing anything like where condition over here. So it will get the first one and it will get the ID from that. So if I run this, then it will give us the same output. And if I do here, let's say pivot dot value and run, then it will give me this foo. But if you want value of any other case, then you can just do here like this where id equals to 2 and run it and this method is wrong over here and if i again run it then we can see here bar it is getting this value and finally the fourth thing that has been added is this array map method it is also saying this array transform but there is no array transform method if you just look here in the files changed then there is no transform method added so there is only array map method added Previously, there was no map method on the array helper class and now it is added. Basically, it is very handy to use this array helper class because you don't have to worry about where should we keep the array and where should be the second parameter. Sometimes in the ARR underscore methods on the PHP, we have to pass the actual array in the different position. Sometimes it is on the first parameter, sometimes it's on the second parameter. So to prevent that confusion, we can just use this array map helper class now if i just go over here and i'm just doing here basic array map one two three four and just mapping and returning this and now you can see here everything is multiplied by two and the result is displayed 